Hey YouTube, it's me, Forever Essence here, and we are back for another Genshin Impact video. And this time here is, well, you, d you guys don't know it from on the side of YouTube, but uh, I've taken quite a break when it comes to streaming. Um, I haven't streamed for what, four days now? Three or four days? Yeah? So, um, I'm getting back into the swing, the swing of things, yes, but... Uh, it <laughs> takes quite some use to, but uh, yeah, we have um, as you see, um, well, Libin, who is the marvelous um, merchandise, who has a marvelous merchandise. I've gotten one box out of him yet, uh, so I expect to get another. Miles, move away. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Miles, stop. <laughs> Miles won't. Just leave me alone, yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, we are going to do the living and get our box for the day. As for other things that I've done recently, um, there are leaves around. Yeah, thank you, Trazor. Just the tune to accompany them. Yeah, thank you, <laughs> Um, I I just finished. I just finished um, recently a hundred percenting the Mondstadt region. So I'm quite happy about that because um, in the bright crown mountains in the Starfield Valley I, I was missing like, missing like um, two or three percentages uh, in each so I've gotten back to the, these specific re uh, parts of the region and I've done everything that needs to be done and well the results, is, is, <laughs> the results are here so I'm quite happy about that. But yeah, um, in the next part, after we do the Libin uh, type merchandise, um, I'm going to continue my specific world quest, which you is, as you may see on the left side here, obtain credit coupons, 500, which is in and of itself linked to and you'll see that in a couple of minutes. <laughs> the Unfinished Comedy. I started this um, world quest, um, well, in the last stream, but I I haven't, well, gone around to finishing it. So we're going to hopefully finish it today. And I think there are some of the quests that need to be done in the Quartz of Fontaine region. And yeah, everything will be done in due time. But if you've liked um, the content this far on YouTube and you can't wait to see another video from me in the future, well, please make sure to leave a like on the video as it helps me greatly. Also, consider subscribing as it helps me in the algorithm and <laughs> it makes me, well, be seen to, uh, well, well, to a wider audience. And yeah, um, I'm quite excited to start this stream and, well, update and edit this video in due time. But without further, further ado, guys, I hope you are as hyped as I am. And let's get started. Um, yeah, uh, there's also an event going on the Hoyo Lab, Ho Hoyo Lab, Hoyo Lab website that is the Great Cleanup. A great cleanup where you had to do some things in game, and these things will are going to give you some energy refills, so that you may clean some parts of uh, well monuments that are in Tevat or in the regions of Tevat that you, we've seen so far. I think it's in Fontaine. In Fontaine, yeah. Most of the time, it's if, yeah, it's in Fontaine. What am I saying? It's only in Fontaine. Don't mind me. So yeah, there are some juicy rewards to get from this special web event. So if you guys want to do it, well, now is now is the time more than anything. Uh, but yeah, we also have um, the birthday, uh, Rosara's birthday that was yesterday. Um, no, not yesterday. What am I saying? It was uh, the day before. The day before yesterday, uh, I. Well, since I logged into my account, I was able to save the specific uh, birthday, so we're going to read it as well. But yeah, 
let's redeem all these rewards, right? Okay. Um, that as well. That too. In the stream when I, when I was like coughing like crazy because uh, they were just goofing around and <laughs> yeah, it was it was great in love itself. But if you haven't d done this event also, uh, well, since it's ending soon, please make sure to get around to doing it, as it is really and I say really a fun time. But yeah, that being done, let's claim this. And uh, we also have, um, before I move on to the rest, Rosaria's birthday. I mean, granted, <laughs> it has been um, two days, but hey, better late than never. So yeah, <laughs> a rare rotation. All right. Um, it truly really is rare that I have nothing to do all day. Or really. Who would have thought? <laughs> no need to hide from anyone. Nobody chasing after me to go pray. I mean, it's on your birthday, so... Maybe they'll give, give you some peace of mind, so... Yeah. Um, I never thought that I'd get such special treatment on a day that really isn't special at all. Eh, yeah, I guess so. Yet, yet even when I sit in a tavern in broad daylight, I can't help but feel a bit sword. Uh, no, not a bit sword. A bit bored, saying nothing but empty chairs. So, after giving it a bit of thought, I finally decided to write letters to invite a few friends over. After all, there is a discount on drinks for larger groups. So let's make the most of this opportunity and down a few extra glasses. It's up to you if you want to come or not. It's not like I'm one of those on duty sisters always running around forcing people to do things. Yeah, you're not like that, Rosaria. I will never expect something from you like this. No. Ah, uh, Rosaria. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. So, yeah. What do we have? Sparkling berry juice. Which is the color of blood. And all things juicy as well. Yeah. <coughs> uh, revives a character and restores 15% of max HP. Then restores an additional 550 HP. Alright, an all new non alcoholic beverage. Bellberries of varying ripeness and add layers of sour to sweet uh, to this juice, while the cooling sparkling water refreshes the soul. A fine companion for a pleasant and leisurely time. Indeed, indeed. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, let me see. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, apple Cider uh, restores 26% of max HP to the selected character and regenerates 570 HP every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. All right. A freshly squeezed, fashionable and fruity non-alcoholic beverage said to have a strong sobering effect, tavern patrons often order this as last drink of the night. Speaking of patrons, uh, I'm glad that they reminded they reminded me somehow. But I've also I also got a um, Patreon page, guys. So if you want uh, to support me even further and uh, well, become part of the Forever Exclusives, there's a, there's a page dedicated to that. So make sure to give it a look. Greatly appreciated. <clears throat> Dinner of Judgment. So this is her signature dish. Uh, I would. I almost said weapon. <laughs> All right. Uh, restores thirty percent of max HP, and an additional a thousand seven 
750 HP to the selected character. Rosario's specialty, the seemingly dark thorns make it hard to know how to begin searching in. After some effort, you manage to clear the ornamentation away, and to your surprise, the first taste of the, the first taste of the tender chicken. <laughs> Sorry, the first taste of the tender chicken unveils a shockingly lovely taste. As Rosario studies your reaction, she seems pleased. But yeah, that is Rosaya's birthday in and of itself. I hope she has the best one. I hope she can make she can make the most of it. And I hope no one bothers her because apparently, uh, she is truly amazed as as to the fact that uh, there's no one going to well actually annoy her with anything today. I mean, granted it was two days ago, but. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Um, also, before I forget, next stream, next stream. Let me have a look. Let's me let me make sure. Yeah. So, next stream will be the stream where I pull for Ryan Shogun and her signature weapon. So yeah, I can't wait for that. Because I wanna I wanna take my my uh my revenge <laughs> from the last pulling session when uh, I only got Shivers. Albeit Shivers is uh is is quite a good pull, don't get me wrong, but the prize here is Ryan Shogun. So yeah. Next stream is going to be the pulling session for Raiden Shogun and her signature weapon. So I hope you guys are excited about that. If you want to see it, then make sure to leave a follow because next stream is going to be a doozy. I'm quite sure of it. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on. There are Alright. Nahida? Uh, can you ask Libin about the um, the box for the day? Sure. Thanks. So, uh, Libin, tell me, talk to me, walk with me. Ah, hello there. Need something? Sure. Uh, I'm here for my box of marvels. The items needed today are such. Uh, what are the items? A carrot. A mint and a steak. Okay. Great. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Libin. Also, uh, I haven't got a chance to talk to him live on stream, so I'll do it just for you guys. But I already know who is um, what he says. Um, in his dialogue option, but I'm going to read it for you guys because why the heck not? Um, can you run through? Can can you run me through your background again, Miles? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm Libin, and once upon a time I sold Cheerios. I've been doing business recently. Um, what kind of business are you talking about? Ah, it's simple. You see, you just need to find me a few basic everyday items. You know, carrots, mint, uh, berries, uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> Five of each. Five. To get a box. Ah, it's simple. You see, you just need to find me a few basic everyday items, cooking ingredients and the like, and then you treat them with me for a box of marvels that are stuffed full of all kinds of nice little treasures. So in these box of marvels, you can get Prima gems, obviously. So whichever box you you pick, I mean, whichever box 
um, it is, you, um, it is mandatory that you will get 40, 40 Primo Gems. But then, after the 40 Primo Gems, you can either get um, uh, talent materials, uh, more um, EXP, EXP materials as well. So yeah, um, if you do this every day while he, Libin, is here, then yeah, um, you can get some just rewards out of it, so make sure not to skip that, because it's quite important. And more so to the fact that uh, version 4.4 is well underway and will come sooner than you think, so maybe hold on to your Prima Gems, your Intertwined Fates, uh, if you want to pull for, I don't know, um, let's say Jean Yu, Jean Yun, and uh, Gaming, or Nahida, or Zhao, or um, yeah, Miko, Miles, what did I, what did I tell you? Alright. <laughs> But yeah, there's a pool of characters incoming, so yeah, I suggest to yeah to conserve your Prima Gems and your Intertwined Fates to pick up the character that you want to pull and that uh, you're excited for the most. Also, um, there will be a free 4-star character during the version 4.4 events. Uh, as for me, obviously, I'm going for Garming, but um, I don't know about you guys. Uh, if um, if you know who you're going to get, well, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below to see what the common uh, the common thoughts are about when it comes to four star characters. Maybe it's someone that you haven't got at C six or that you don't have at all should be. So yeah, um, I'll be quite happy to read you in the comments. So yeah, like I said guys, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Alright, um, yeah, and stuff full of kinds of nice little treasures. Keep in mind that I fill these boxes of marvels with the fortune I made in my time as a seller of curios. By the way, curios? Um, you have curios in Hurita Space Station now in Hard Tri Star Rail? Oh no. Just saying. It seems like um, the games, or, well, the universe of every game from Hoyoverse is intertwined. And you'll see it better when I continue this dialogue option here. Um, there's no booby prizes to be found here. And I treat all my customers the same. Yeah, like I said, 40 Prima Gems in each box, so you should not get shafted. Miles, I swear to God, you better not choose yourself again. <laughs> <clears throat> Why box them up and turn it into a lucky draw, you ask? Yeah, I mean, it's been on everyone's mind, Lemon. Yeah? What should I say? People like your jizz box. Yeah, I, I guess so. It just makes everyone a little more inclined to get involved. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to earn any more like this? Something like this? Let's worry about it when the time comes. Mm, if worst come, if worst comes to worst, I'll take a trip to Natlin next time. Yeah, he's going to take a trip to Natlin, the next region that we're going to see after Fontaine. So yeah, Liban is going to be Natlin confirmed. Wait, didn't he say something else? Uh, 
Maybe it was the first time. Ah, God damn it. Uh, okay, so apparently... <laughs> so, apparently... I... I jizzed it. I've talked to him in advance, so... Uh, well, basically the dialogue option was saying about how uh, maybe the universe... Uh, well, and the stars up in the, up in the sky are just the worlds that, well, we just have an inkling to uh, go pay a visit. And then there was the dialogue option that said, huh, so you want to trailblaze upon the stars? Or something like that, it's some something along the lines. Like, and I, I was kind of reminded of um, Hongkai Star Realm. So yeah, I don't know if there's any coincidence, but if the two things are linked, well, um, uh, we'll see this when um, Celestia or becomes a thing, or if you go, if we go to Snizhnaya and uh, there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff happening there. Albeit, well, I think that Natlin will have some interesting and crazy things. Well, for lore things, yeah. Uh, yes, that is Liberton. So, you'll see, you'll see. But in the, other, in the finished comedy, we are acquainted with a little girl. <laughs> and it's been some time, so I don't remember her name. But I know that there's a well, a little boy that is not actually a little boy that is named Caterpillar and has some strange, strange, um, well, illness. So, yeah, Caterpillar probably went to get coupons elsewhere, but he left us some clues. So, we have the dormitory blotch mailroom, the rag and bone shop and the north side of the production zone's lower levels. Yeah, we'll take our chances. Definitely true. Alright, well, thank you for your time, Artnit. I'll see you then, well, well, um, when, uh, when Sijuin is back, okay? <coughs> hey, Rosalino. Hey, okay, this song. What's up, my dude? Can anyone help me? Please, I'm begging you. Help this poor soul. Uh, are you alright? Oh, thank goodness. Finally, some kind people. You see, it's my son's birthday tomorrow, and I'd like to, and I'd like to send him a letter. But to get a letter sent out of the fortress of Meripede. You have to queue up here, and I don't have the time for that. Huh? Why not? There was a major safety incident in the production zone, so I have to get there immediately. I was hoping someone could stand in line for me, but... <sighs> I know, this is what I deserve. But my son is innocent. Why should he, be, should he have to pay the, for my crimes too? All I want is to send him a letter so he knows his father hasn't forgotten his birthday and loves him very much. But I can't even do that. Poor guy. We'll help him, won't we, Limo? You will? I, I don't have much in the way of money on me right now. But I'll be sure to pay you a fair price for your trouble based on the market average. Um... The market average? Yes. I've lined up for other people before, so I know the going right. It's alright, don't sweat it. We're happy to help. Thank you so much. You're great people. Oh, I forgot to ask you for your names. I'm Desomber. And you? Paimon is Paimon, and he is Limol. We're adventure buddies. Yeah. Well, it's good to meet you, Paimon, Limol. Um, here's the letter. Just hand it to Lutz over there. Your lifesavers. <laughs> don't worry. We'll take care of it.
Okay. Well, let's go deliver that letter then. But apparently there's a few. Uh, this the son leaves in a hurry after handing over the letter. A long time passes before you and Paimon notice that the short chew hasn't moved an inch. He could be here a while. Suddenly, your attention is drawn to a conversation between two people behind you. Exhausted man. Ugh, this is taking forever. And the air is so stuffy here. I can barely breathe. First time chewing here? Huh, kid? Welcome to the infamous slowest queue in the Fortress of Meripede. Surprised you've never heard of it. <laughs> Lutz has a tendency to slow things down by embellishing the letters as he types them out. Can't help himself. And of course, we have to check through them all over again to make sure we're happy with it, blah blah blah. Are you kidding me? God, I'm growing weak at the knees. <laughs> and in there, buddy. If you pass out, you'll only have to start all over again tomorrow. It's happened before, you know. One dies on his first visit and still hasn't managed to send his letter. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it seems that the Q here is not going to move an inch. That's for sure. Third visit? Jeez. Sucks to be him. <laughs> you bet it does. It takes a special kind of bad luck to fail three times in a row. He's a selection in the Chewing community. We call him... Unlucky December. Yikes. If you're interested, I can tell you more about him. To be honest, I'm not really in the mood. Ah, come on, cheer up. Anyway. It all started the day before you before you oh, wait wait. Anyway, it all started the day before yesterday. It was sweltering hot that afternoon. I said I'm not. Ugh, whatever. Carry on. The sender came to me that afternoon, saying he had to line up to send a letter the following day. He asked me if I could cover his shift, his shift as a porter in the Trupon cafeteria. I was going to say no, because it sounded like more trouble than it, than it was worth. But he gave me the old puppy eyes and said how he'd missed his chance to the last time because he overslept. And how his son was still waiting for his letter. So I took pity on him and agreed to help him out. But guess what I saw when I got off work yesterday? I saw him looking for someone else to cover his work. And its truth was still the same. He needed to send a letter. Unfortunate. So I went over and asked him what happened. He said he'd learned from his mistakes and woke up early in the morning to chew up. But he still didn't manage to send a letter due to unforeseen complications. Don't tell me. He joined the wrong line. <laughs> no. Man, that's almost as funny as what actually happened. He skipped breakfast to get in the line early. But by the afternoon, he was running on empty and starting to lose it. He tried to push through, but suddenly everything went black. And there was a loud thud. He was out cold, and by the time he reached consciousness, they were closed for the day. <laughs> what a loser. Wait, did I... I don't think I had anything to eat either. Crumbs? Now my stomach's starting to growl. Oh, to growl. To growl. Did they say Mr. December? Paman didn't realize what he li would line up for. It means we always have food with us for emergencies. How you verse? You know what I miss? More than anything? I miss the times where you actually treat Paimon as emergency food. Because 
Here, Jetfin will always have food with us, with us for emergencies. Well, we <laughs> we should just say yeah, because Paimon, as you know, you are the emergency food. Wait, wait, wait. But does that doesn't that uh, that adoption here? Is it is it quite the same? <laughs> okay, so it it was um, kind of similar, but uh, Palmer didn't get the joke, so. Uh, I guess it's fine. Whoever you you're forgiven. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I got I got um I got a uh, an old cup of um of juice. So um, cheers. So, I don't have food, but I have a uh, juice, so that's great. Um, <laughs> um, that didn't sound very nice, but yeah, there was uh, also a typo here. That didn't sound very nice, but Pyman Trump put her finger on why. Chewing for a long time gets tedious and tiring. You start to forget your purpose here. Only the occasional background noise and chatter serves to remind you that, despite how it feels, time is indeed moving. I'm feeling lightheaded. Man, I really hope I don't have to do this all over again tomorrow. Eat this. Need something in your stomach. Next time, remember to bring food and water when you go on a long queue. Thank you, but it's crazy that you're talking about this queue like it's a marathon. <laughs> Listen up, maggot. Well, this is the most brutal, godforsaken slice of hell in the whole fortress of Meripine. It made spent creation look like a walk in the park. But, but it's just... Every queuer worth their salt knows, knows to plan properly before turning to join the line. Some people bring a stool for rest breaks, and some of the more hardcore folks have even been known to camp outside the entrance the night before. Hardcore. But, but it's just a chew. This is no ordinary chew, Ruchi. This is war. Okay. <laughs> Everyone... <laughs> Okay, um, everyone is expected to give a hundred and ten percent. Even a lucky December has multiple contingency plans. Hmm. Sadly, the best laid plans are no match for fate. On my way back from the production zone earlier, I saw him leaving the line and heading in the direction of the coupon cafeteria. So I asked him, Hey, aren't you supposed to be in a chip? And do you know what the, his answer was? He'd gotten so fixated on chewing that he forgot the most important thing of all. He didn't bring his letter with him. So he had to leave and come back. I really have to meet this guy. Sounds like quite a character. What? He forgot his letter? Man, this sounds like really is terrible. Wait, then what did he give us though? Right, he had it right to us. I was getting to. Paimon is getting. Paimon is getting to get pretty confused. Well, uh, let's uh, let's take a bit at it. Beautifully 
written letter. Quotes. To my love. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Oof. Wait, wait. Let me, let me, um. Let, let me sip on this juice first. Uh, because this letter is, uh. Yeah, it's quite doozy. Let's, uh, let's read that, shall we? <clears throat> to my love, my dearest Monsieur Nouvellet, I know not how many days and nights have passed since our previous trial. My dreams have been filled with longing for your face, so kind, so handsome. It excites me. I'm sorry? Agitates me to know that I shall be leaving this place and that I shall see you once more. As I said, I will do anything, anything, to see you again. And I can wait no longer. Indeed, not one more. <laughs> uh, indeed, not one moment more. For you to castigate me. Your humble defendant quotes. And this time, I promise, I swear, you will remember my name. Your admirer, White Lily. Sip, because um, yeah. <clears throat> let's move on. Yeah, let's see what he wrote. Wow, what the heck is all this? Paimon doesn't... Paimon doesn't... Oh, so there's still a typo here. Paimon doesn't see anything about a birthday or Mr. Desombe anywhere. None of this information adds up. It's almost our turn, Nimal. Shall we hand in the letter? As your, as your torturous ordeal approaches the end, you reassure yourself that this has all been worth it. But your questions remain unanswered. A chapter has closed. The story continues. Uh, can I talk to Lutz here, just to be sure? Well, you're here to send letters, so do you mind if I help you polish it a little? Uh, not right now, it's not necessary. I've been chewing for half a day now. I don't need any more anxiety, Lutz. I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for asking. Okay, come find me if you need if you need to send any email. Any uh, an email. All right, are we going to see him? Hey, hey, uh, it's me. Phew, I made it, just in time. Why are you so out of breath? I just finished up at the abandoned production zone and ran all the way here. So it's done? The letter's been sent? Great. <clears throat> Are you, um, are you, um, White Lily? Oh, 
So that's the name she gave herself. Uh, I'm sorry? Alright, to, to tell you the truth, a young woman asked me to send this letter for her. She looked really sick to me, so I agreed. And I didn't even take a single mora. I'm paying for your compensation out of my own pocket. Okay. Huh? Uh, seriously? Are you sure of the song? Because it seems to me, uh, looking at the contents of the letter, she does seem very sick indeed. Love sick, to be precise. I just... I must have grabbed the wrong late letter on my way out. Fiddlesticks. The birthday letter will never get there in time now. Wait, really? So you finally got your letter posted, but it was the wrong one? Wow. You're really living up to your nickname, the summer. Yeah. Unlucky, the summer. Fate is a cruel mistress. <sighs> I'd love to stay in chat, but I gotta rush home and get the right letter now. I hope there's still time. Here's your conversation. Pleasure chewing business with you. Now to post that blessed letter to my son. See you. Yeah, uh, See you. That was a quite an odd encounter. But, 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 <sighs> why do you have to leave? I almost still has a ton of questions for him. Never mind. At least we got some coupons. <laughs> huh? Is this all? It's not even one meal's worth. I guess we're going hungry tonight, right? No! I'm so hungry! Ah. I'm sorry, Paimon. You know, seems a raw deal. Yeah, it's definitely a raw deal. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, Paimon, because I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know that cheats these days. Rosalino. Rosalino. Do you have a problem? No. Fine then. Alright. 